Hey guys, welcome to my channel and on this video we're gonna be talking about Bitbucket. Um, what is Bitbucket? Bitbucket is actually um, um, a platform where you can have your, your code repository set up, your projects, you plan your projects on there, you can actually collaborate with teams and also actually have your pipelines, your continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline set up on there to be able to to deploy your code to different uh, platforms um, or, or to a dedicated server. So platforms like cloud pl cloud pl platforms such as Azure, AWS, or um, your dedicated server. So one thing I want to point out is that Bitbucket is actually uh, very good and um, I've been using it for, for, for close to five years now. And one thing I, I, can, I can guarantee you is that you have unlimited private repositories so you can actually set up as many as you want just make sure that you have only five users you know it only allows you five five users to be able to you know to to do that and if you have more users then you would need to pay you know pay three dollars or six dollars depending on what options you want to go for. Another thing I want to point out is that it, it has G Jira, Trilo integration. You can actually, it has built-in continuous delivery as well. You can actually set up, you know, um, pipelines using YAML files, you know, which is really nice, you know, which is really good. And um, for this demo, for this video, we're going to be looking at how to get it, you know, s sign up for free and also connect your local machine with Bitbucket using SSH, you know, SSH. You can ask me what is actually SSH. So SSH is actually a protocol that uses encryption, you know, to, you know, to, to secure the, the connection between a client and a server. And one of the things it also prevents you from is protect you from is a man in the middle attack. You can actually read up on SSH and, and I think it's really useful to you know to have knowledge on what ssh is all about but i use it for 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 my you know repository connections and it it's 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 been really good so for you to start with bitbucket you need to sign up so this is the sign up page and um in my case i already have a, a an account with them so i'm just gonna like authenticate with my google google account but in your case you just have to go through the process which is really it's really straightforward and once you get in this is what you see this is the board it's it's really clean and simple all you need to do is to set up a, a repository you just have to click on create repository you give your it, it asks you for a project name and also you have to also um, give your repository a name the access level is going to be private for this demo and as well as i'm going to initialize the repository with a beginners um you know like a beginners readme file and also you have advanced settings if you want to like be explicit on you know what programming language you're using in this repository and as well as descriptions and also option for forking of which um, i'm just going to leave it as, as default as it is so when we create the the repository it gives you you know the readme file for the beginners which is what you see here in your repository and as well as um, how you can clone this repository on your um, local you know local machine so cloning for this um, demo we're just gonna use ssh not https um, we we i copy that and um, i try to clone let's try to clone this on my local box and see what happens so i'm trying to clone demo demo is the name of the repository remember and then you can see here it says there's a there's an host my local machine doesn't doesn't know and all i need to do is to say yes i want this host to connect with my with my local machine but no now i cannot because um even though the the bitbucket has been added as a as a known you know known host to my list of known lost host on this local local machine I'm still being denied permission because I have not set up the SSH, um, um, you know, for this connection to happen between Bitbucket and uh, and my local machine. So how do you do this? You need to go back to Bitbucket. There's a section. So you go to your profile, the personal settings. Under your personal settings, there is on on the security there is a section called SSH keys, and in there you can actually. Um, gener you know you can you can add your keys here 
and for you to you know to 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 start up i think the best thing is to um you know click on learn now let's just go in there on how to generate the necessary key and it's loading and they can see here it says it tells you you know set up an ssh key and like i mentioned earlier on it prevents you from manning the middle attacks you know it, it actually helps you to be able to secure your communication with bitbucket from your local machine and also ensure that you don't always provide your password every time you know every time you have to clone or you have to push your code it's really seamless it's really nice i've been using it and i i love it so in my case i'm using windows so all i need to do is um click on that and that takes me to a section where i just have to know what command to run on my windows so i run that but for me to be able to run this i need git so git is remember um for, for those of you who don't know bitbucket actually um the repository section runs on git you need to understand git command for you to be able to you know to 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 push your code to make changes to your code to push it to the to the to the remote um, um, server um, so you need to install git on your on your on your on your machine you can get it from this um, from this um, site when you install it then you have git bash you can actually run it from the git bash or you can make sure that um, git is already added to your environment um, variables when you're installing it so that you can run it from the um, windows um, terminal and in my case i've already installed git so i'll be skipping that step i just have to copy that command line and run it on here and you can see it's gonna generate two keys for me which is the public and the private keys if you check on ssh there's nothing yet so let's just do this so you can see this in action and then i'll gonna i'm just gonna create it into that in that file so passphrase is for you to um you know to provide like some sort of a secret key to you that you want to always use with your ssh um, in communications but um in my case i would i rather not use that uh passphrase because you whenever you use passphrase you always have to you know provide the what's it called provide the passphrase whenever you do the authentication so i'm just gonna just make it blank and then as you can see you can see there are two files generated for you which is your public key and your private key so what you need to upload to uh, bitbucket is your public key which is this one we copy that and then we put that in this section and remember when you add this make sure you you're not ex you're not giving out your private key because your private key is private to you it's private to your machine because if you let out your private key that means um anyone can easily get access into your local box so just make sure you only give out your your public key so as you can see here we have a, a key in here so what we can do is try to um clone you know clone the repository one more time and see what happens yeah we see and as you can see it seems like we've got something on my on my machine and let's go back to guest you can see there's a there's a folder here with the readme file from the repository um that we we've just created in in big pocket let's go back to that section and you can you can see uh, as you can see we've got um, you know we've got something in here so this is actually just what I want to show you guys and um, and okay let me just just for you know just for just for you know demo purposes let's just add one for you and call it demo and in there I'm just gonna say blah 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 okay let's save that let's push this to let's just push this so you can see this so git let's add that file to git and then let's say git um, um what's it called we need to commit this right to 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 git and say added demo file so what does that give us it gave us that and then we have to just push remember when you push in for the first time it might ask you to try to provide some information oh no it went through so yeah you have it but there might be some cases where it might ask you to provide um, um 
your username and like the name you're using to push the code and as well as um, your your email so it gives you a guide on how to do that which is fairly straightforward but um, in this case um, we've pushed the code to Bitbucket now let's go check Bitbucket and see uh, if we've got a new file there so as you can see new file we just added 44 seconds ago so that's just it about this um, um, you know this 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 video and I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be you know valuable to to you know to, to people out I hope it's valuable to people out there because I know we've got students that are doing research and they have you know they maybe computer science doing research and they want to store their 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 code somewhere uh, bitbucket you can always store your code there and even have it helps you to collaborate with other students to you know to contribute to the to the code base and i feel like it's useful also for for small businesses where you know you have a small business you don't have a technology um, infrastructure or you don't have any platform and you want to just start this is free you know this can help you you know where you can just always manage your your code base the product you're developing for your for your business so I hope you find this useful and I and I would and please don't forget to subscribe, you know, like, you know, comment on this video and let me know what you think. But um, I'll catch you in my next video. Stay safe and cheers. Bye.